I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you with another video that will bless and touch your life forever. Another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. I tell you, my dear friend, as we pray today and as I speak to you, I trust and believe God is going to do something amazing in your life and your life will never be the same again. Now, I want to speak to you about something that's very important and I trust and believe if you take this message and you apply it in your life, you will be blessed. The title of the message is Choose What's Good For You and For Your Destiny. Now, my dear friend, so many people make a mistake, a mistake in life that ends up landing them in a lot of trouble. It lands them in a place that they are unhappy, that they're not enjoying the fullness of what they could have had. And this mistake is making the wrong decision, choosing what looks good as opposed to choosing what is good for you. Now, my dear friend, something may look good to you. It may look good on the outside, but that does not necessarily mean that it's good for you. Something may look good, but that does not necessarily mean it's good for your destiny. In the same way, my dear friend, you might have a desire to get something. But because you have that desire does not necessarily mean that that is good for you. I'll give you an example in relationships. Many a times young ladies see men and they say, I like that guy, I'm going to go for him. Even young men, they see ladies and they're like, I like that girl, I'm going to go for her. Maybe in business, people see certain business deals and they're like, I like this type of business, I'm going to go for it. Now, just because you like it does not mean it's going to be good for you. Just because you might like that person does not mean that they'll be good for you or for your destiny. It's so essential that you recognize what is good for you and good for your destiny that God has entrusted to your life. And this way you will preserve your happiness. You will reach the fullness of what God has called you to reach. You will fulfill the destiny and purpose as you make decisions that are good for you. You will fulfill the destiny that God has placed on your life by making wise decisions. What is a wise decision? A wise decision is a decision that is good for you. It's good for your loved ones. It's good for your destiny. So my dear friend, I want to encourage you today from today onwards, Begin to choose what is good for you as opposed to what looks nice or what you might want. Choose what is good for you, what is good for your destiny. And I guarantee you, my dear friend, as you apply this in your life, it'll make you much happier. You see, too many people have landed up in trouble and landed up in a place of sorrow and sadness and they lack joy because they have made the wrong decisions. They've chosen what looks good to them on the outside or what they might want, what they might desire, not necessarily considering God's will and what is good for them and their destiny. And because of this, they have suffered so many years. But that suffering can end if you choose what is best for you. My dear friend, I want to tell you a story. There's a young lady that I prayed for and she has given me permission to share this. Now, she chose to be with a certain guy and God had said that she shouldn't be in that place. She's been with him for years. And all the years since that relationship started, she has cried every day. She has had sorrow because she's crying out for someone's love who does not necessarily want her. In the same way, I've met many young men. They have gone for the wrong lady in their life and they've caused so much sorrow. I've met business people who God has said, don't go down that venture. Don't have those business partners. But they went ahead and they did it. And they ended up in sorrow. They ended up losing out. I've met people who God said, don't work in this company, work in that company. And they didn't listen. They just wanted this company because that's what they desired. And that's what looked good at that time. But had they listened to God's warning and God's instruction, they would have been in the right place at the right time and they would have been much further than they are right now. And this is why I record this message, my dear friend. I record to encourage you. Choose what's good for you. Choose what's in line with God's will. Choose what's good for your destiny and you'll be blessed, you'll be happy. You see, choosing what's best for you is godly, my dear friend. It's a good thing to choose what is best for you, what is good for your destiny. Some people think that's selfishness. It's not selfishness. 
It's selfishness to go after your own desires that look good in your own eyes, but are not necessarily good for you, good for your family, good for your destiny. Choose what is good for you. Choose what God wants you to have, God's will, and God will bless you with more. You'll be happy going in and coming out, and your family will also reap of the benefits. Now, you might have made some decisions in the past, and right now, because of those decisions, you're not so happy. But there's grace. There is the grace of God that is available in Christ, and that grace is released to all of us who believe. Whatever situation, whatever trouble you find yourself in now, it's not too late to make a decision to start choosing what is good for you, to start choosing what is good for your destiny. And as we pray, I trust and believe Christ is going to intervene and wherever you made any bad decisions in the past and you're reaping the consequences right now, God will change that situation and you will be blessed. So in saying that, take your cell phone, your device, wherever you're watching me from and just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God, where nobody will disturb you. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin to lift up praises to God. As your praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and change your life forever. In saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, thank You for Your grace. Thank You for Your mercy. Thank You, Lord, that You are such a loving God. You are such a good God and You care about us. You care about my dear friend who's watching this video. You care about my dear friend's family, my dear friend's children, and everyone who concerns my dear friend. I give you praise and I thank you because you are here today. Your presence is here today. And as we pray and as we seek you, all will be well. As we pray and as we seek you, you will bless my dear friend and take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater altitude in you. We give you praise and we thank you that you guide us, you lead us, you show us the way, you show us what is good for us and what is good for our destiny. We give you praise, Lord, because you have a plan, a divine plan for the life of my dear friend. And wherever there was sorrow, we give you praise that you are going to turn that situation of sorrow into a situation of joy. Help my dear friend today to make the right decisions. And even as you do so, Lord, I thank you and I give you praise because you are the God who speaks and you live in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God. I know like I know as we pray today, God is going to bless you and he's going to intervene. I just know, I discern it. And the presence of God is here. I discern the presence of God. And it is a confirmation that you are going to receive your miracle. Now, we're going to go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin to pray. And I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is just say a few words out loud with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, take over control. Help me to make the right decisions. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus name and I thank you for it Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is to comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The Bible makes it clear, where two or more are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. And furthermore, where two or more agree on a thing as touching, it shall be established. So God will bless you even as you comment and agree. In saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend, wherever my dear friend is. First of all, I pray, forgive my dear friend if my dear friend has made any bad decisions and my dear friend finds themselves in a place where they are not happy. Intervene divinely right now and change the situation. Even as your dear son who's watching this video and your dear daughter, decides to make the right decisions from now on to choose what is best for them what is best for the destiny that you've placed on their life and what is best and in line with your will intervene divinely and bring happiness and joy i thank you lord that you are a god who speaks and you live and you are always with your children you don't leave us you never forsake us you never leave us helpless because of your love your unconditional love through that love, begin to touch my dear friend today. Intervene in whatever situation my dear friend finds themselves in. If my dear friend needs healing, let my dear friend receive healing. If my dear friend needs deliverance, let deliverance take place. Intervene divinely and do what only you can do, O oh God. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Lord, I pray, help my dear friend to make the right decisions. Release the grace, the mercy, the divine enablement, the divine power, because we understand and know we as human beings, we may think we're strong, but we're not. 
We need your grace and we need your strength to enable us to keep on going. We need your grace and your strength to protect us from falling into various types of temptation. Lord, we pray even today, release that grace and that strength over my dear friend so that my dear friend will make the right decisions in the right time and will not be pushed around by the devil and will not end up into a place where they are suffering and they are sad. But wherever it might be, in business, in the workplace, in relationships, in family, in friends, in community efforts, whatever it is, help my dear friend to make the right choices and let my dear friend receive the grace for wisdom, divine godly wisdom, so that my dear friend may choose what is best for their destiny, what is best for what you have entrusted to them, what is best and in line with your will. I pray this in Jesus' name. And bless my dear friend mightily, even as my dear friend chooses right. Let my dear friend's life turn around completely. Let there be a divine turnaround for the better. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.